Good morning, everyone. As you just saw, I got up this morning. It's um, 5 o'clock. I got up, got dressed, um, checked on my quail. And it's been three days since I've watered them. And um, that water was working great. They're growing so fast, though. I cleaned out their water. Uh, they had a little bit of scratch also in their chicken feed. I got that cleaned out and um, gave them some fresh water and now I am on my way to work. I thought I would try out a different video this morning and see if you guys liked it. No. Now I want y'all to look at my headlights. This is dim and this is bright. Now I told my husband after I drove this truck yesterday, I told him that we need to fix these headlights. Now this is an older model pickup that I bought and uh, I usually don't drive it uh, I have a little car that I drive, but um, the car that I have, we bought it used at a car lot, but um, that year model of Toyota Corolla that I bought seems to, everybody that drives that blue color of Toyota Corolla, the paint is peeling. I've seen other people with the same make and model car that I have, and the paint peels real bad. Well, I had bought it used, but um, my husband kept my car home yesterday and today because he's gonna paint the hood on it. Now, y'all may think I'm crazy, but I'm not into spending a whole lot of money on vehicles. So I just want one that gets good gas mileage and gets me where I need to go. So uh, after we got the car about a year, the cab started peeling on my car. So my husband uh, took a sandpaper and he sanded off my cab of my car and then we found some spray paint that matched and we spray painted it just where it would quit peeling and quit rusting and it would look better well it, it don't match exactly but i really don't care it's just a vehicle that i drive back and forth to work well then um the last few months my hood has been peeling real real bad so he kept my car at home yesterday and he did the hood and now he's going to redo the cab of it again and then now my trunk's peeling but i'm not so worried about it right now it don't it's not as bad as the hood and the cab of the car so he painted those yesterday so he's gonna get those finished up today so that left me to drive in this pickup <clears throat> now back to the headlights on this pickup i usually don't drive this pickup very much because it don't get as good gas mileage as my car but um driving it yesterday i told him i said my headlights are just wonky I said, I can turn them on bright and nobody knows that I have them on bright. I said, nobody flashes me or lets me know that they're on bright. So I told him after he gets done with my car, then he's going to have to keep the truck at home and he's going to have to fix it. So uh, I was going to start this video yesterday, but five o'clock in the morning, there's not too many convenience stores open. But um, I got up and drove to the first convenience store. Well, there was a vehicle there at the convenience store. So I went ahead and got out and got my gas all ready and everything. Well, the pump never would turn on. So I walked up to the door and the door was still locked and some of the lights were off. So I guess they wasn't quite open yet. So I had to get back in the pickup and go on down the road a little further and get out and get the next gas station. So it just took me a little longer yesterday. I was gonna start this video yesterday, but it took me just a little bit longer to get everything going then I was frustrated about the gas and uh, so what I'm doing is I've started working out in the mornings I found out that I can get up at about 450 get up get dressed and then I can head on towards work once I get into the town that I work in that they have a little workout center there so I can work out before I go to work and I wasn't sure how this video was going to work or how it was going to turn out so I wasn't going to say nothing about it but then uh, I really felt good yesterday. Now, I only got in about a 20-minute workout before I had to shower and get to work. But I think that 20 or 30 minutes every morning is going to help me out a little bit. So I'm going to try that for a while. I'm going to see how that works out. So if I get a chance today, I'll give you a little bit of my workout. I usually just walk around uh, track for a little bit, and then I walk on a treadmill or I do a bicycle. I can't really do anything that impacts my knees a lot. My knees hurt sometimes, and so I don't want to strain them or stress them out. I need to lose some weight so it don't put so much strain on my knees. But we're working on that a little at a time. 
But that's all I got for this morning until we get to the workout place, and then I'm going to go to work after that. So we'll see how this video ends up. See you guys in a little bit. It is a little bit lighter out here this morning. Uh, supposed to be at work at 6.30, but it is almost 6.30. I don't have much more of a drive until I get to work, so I'm okay on that. Just got to get the rest of this done and get there. See you guys in a minute. I uh, just got done going to lunch with a friend, had barbecue and a salad, it was really good, and I'm um, headed back to work now, so see you guys here this afternoon. Off work now, if I just don't die before I make it to my vehicle, because it is so hot out here. Let's get this started, get the air conditioner going. Even with the pickup started, air conditioner going, I think it's 2,985 degrees. It is hot. Okay. So. Uh, let's get going here. Ooh, that's an awful angle. Hang on. Okay. Alright, let's get going here. I do not like to go to Walmart when I get off work. But sometimes I have to. I told my mom that I would go to Walmart for her today. Uh, where we live, either she's got to drive 30 miles for her to drive to Walmart to get two items, or when I get off work, I drive about two miles to go to Walmart and then take it back home with me. So I told her there is no reason for her to drive 30 miles just to go get two items. I'd stop by when I got off work and grab them. So I made a list all day long of everything that I needed today. So I'm going to stop by real quick at Walmart grab those five or six things that I need and hopefully I'll be out pretty quick. We'll see how this trip goes. Okay, I have eight things on my list. Let's see how I do. I've already got three in the basket. Okay, that was Walmart <coughs> and it is crazy as usual wasn't as busy as it has been before because it is 3.30. So it wasn't too bad. 
but um, I had eight things on my list. I walked out the door with seven because I did not have the color of yarn that I needed to finish the scarf. So uh, that's it for uh, this day today. I don't know if I can record anymore. Uh, I'm headed home and then um, I have a water board meeting tonight that I have to go to. And then after that, I'm going over to my mom and dad's and we're gonna make banana pudding. There is a lady at my work that had a car accident and um, she needs some help with medical expenses. So we're gonna do a bake sale for her. So I'm gonna go to my mom and dad. She's gonna have to make some banana pudding. That way they can sell it at the bake sale tomorrow. Um, but for now, I think that's it. I don't think I'll record anything else. Uh, supper's gonna be leftovers. So I think that's it for the day, you guys. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. It's 7.30 this evening, and I am going to end the video here. I'm just gonna go home, take a shower, and get ready for bed. And that will be all until my day tomorrow starts over. We'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching, bye.